now I'm here to learn how to craft the perfect pint of beer, in this case Guinness. It actually takes 119.5 seconds to serve the perfect pint of Guinness draft. Otherwise, I refer to it as almost the two longest minutes of your life. It's time for Masao Meats. So welcome, you're here in the Guinness Academy. This is where we actually uh, take the time to offer every visitor the chance to put the glass in their own hand. And they're in the six steps to crafting the perfect pint of Guinness. So I'll walk you through that now. And hear the harm, of course. We wanted people to know it was a good um, Irish product. So we chose a good Irish symbol. On the Guinness harp, you'll notice the straight edge is found on the left-hand side. When the Republic of Ireland uses the harp today, it's been flip-flopped. For Guinness Draft, we select a tulip-shaped pint glass. It promotes the surge that happens within the glass, as well as the way the head forms, but you'll see that in just a moment. You'll hold your glass at a 45 degree angle, place it under the nozzle, align the nozzle towards the golden harp, holding it close, but not actually touching, and then pull this handle all the way down. This is very important, as that in controls the amount of gas pushing the beer through the line, as I fill, I slowly straighten my glass, keeping the nozzle out of the liquid and fill just to the top of the golden harp. Let's see if I can do it the same. Point it towards the harp. As it went. Straighten your glass now. Now straight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When Keep the back it closed. Oh. Yeah. And stop. There oh, you go. Stop. We got There's a few a bubbles on top because you, you took the glass so far so away far from it. But that's okay, a lot of those will settle out. And now it's a special thing, right? Oh, what's happening right now inside the glass is known as the surge. And this is how we form that smooth, velvety head on top of the pint of Guinness Draft. It's caused by the gas mixture we just used to push the beer through the lines, which is 75% nitrogen, 25% carbon dioxide. Because of the shape of the glass, it's causing a bit of a current to take place in the glass, which is why you see that cascade or waterfall effect downwards in the glass. It actually takes 119.5 seconds to serve the perfect pint of Guinness draft. Otherwise I refer to it as almost the two longest minutes of your life. With the second part of the pour I'm actually going to use the tap the other way. I've already formed the smooth creamy head on the pint. Yep. You can set that up on the tray to settle. So should you ever be in a bar in Ireland just check if the logo is on the top uh, not because I want to do advertising for Guinness, no. It's really funny to know, is it a good barkeeper who knows about it or not? <laughs> I'm actually waiting just till it takes that dark color all the way up to the head. That's when I know I'm ready to top off that pint. So bring your glass back over towards the nozzle. Hold it oh. close, but keep the nozzle out of the liquid and push away this time. Lowering just your... Just top it off. Perfect. Bit more oh, no, a bit more. Stop. Ah. Well done. Slauncher. It's Slauncher. Irish for cheers. In Irish it means to your health. Slauncher. But as the head is quite velvety there, uh, to taste the flavors of the beer, it's important that you drink through the head. That's a bit stupid. You don't need to be afraid of that mustache <laughs> okay, forming. Okay. That just shows that you're really enjoying your pint of Guinness draft. All I call that the old badge of honor there that you're left with. <laughs> badge of honor. <laughs> I present oh. you with your diploma. As you have now accomplished and Crafting the perfect point of Guinness. For more travel lifestyle, get a free YouTube subscription. Hope to see you next time. Be a travel holic. It's your life.